Hey guys, this is Courtney from the Yarn Ladies Closet. Um, I wanted to give a um, an update um, within you know the last couple of days, you know since I did my last video um, with not being able to you know with trying to stay in touch with everyone and pop in and out of lives and everything. Um, I wanted to share with you one of the things that we've been going through um, with my three year old son. Um, so when he when he turned a year. Um, his doctor, he's three now, but when he turned a year, his doctor was like, oh yeah, you know, he can have the peanut butter, you know, he can have the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I was like, oh, you know, that's going to be a quick snack or a quick lunch. And you know, whenever they reach those milestones, you're so happy because you're like, oh yeah, you know, they're getting bigger, they're developing, they're, they're reaching their milestones that they need to reach. Well, a little bit of a backstory. When I gave my son his uh he he only ate a few pieces of it it was a, of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and um so he started eating it and he started pushing it away as i was giving it to him and i was like oh what's wrong you know and i was like okay he's probably just not hungry maybe he just needs a nap and so not even five minutes later after I gave him, I think he had like two or three teeny tiny little pieces because even out a year, he didn't have any of his teeth yet. Um, so he started, all of a sudden, he just started doing like a light cough. And I was like, hmm, you know, thinking like maybe something got stuck in his throat. Well, it ended up that 10 minutes into it, his face started turning blue. And his eyes started, you know, turning blue. He was looking like a raccoon. His lips turned pale blue. And then he started <clears throat> choking because he couldn't breathe. So, um, I ended up calling, um, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. And I was like, okay, I need to bring him in because I think he's having an allergic reaction. And they asked me the symptoms. They're like, okay, no, call 911. And just call 911. So I called 911 and right before they got there, it stopped. I mean, his eyes were watering, his nose was running, everything. And um, so they got there and they were like, you know, ma'am, um, he, he was going into anaphylactic shock when you called us, but something stopped it from continuing. And all I can say is that God is what did it. God was the one who kept my baby from dying. It was the scariest thing ever to ever witness. And this sweet little baby was just bouncing in his little jumper and you know, his face was turning blue and only by the grace of God. I mean, he is the only one who stopped, he stopped it. <clears throat> so, um, a couple of weeks ago, I had a virtual call with uh, his doctor who is an allergist, um, and he said, you know, usually babies don't grow out of um, allergies to peanuts. So he was like, I, I just wanna, I wanna do a blood panel to start, and if it doesn't come back conclusive, then I wanna do a patch test, which patch tests are very painful. If anyone has been through it, I've known several people who are allergic to stuff and they've had the patch test, and they're older, they're adults or teenagers, and they're like, it is, it is like excruciating pain. I'm not sure if it's like that for everybody, but the people that I know that have had it done, it's excruciating. Um, so thank God he called back today and they tested him for peanut allergy, all tree nuts, soy, egg, and shellfish. Okay, so the doctor called me today and he said Chris, that my son, my, my son's name is Christopher, um, that Christopher showed a highly, highly lethal number of um, allergy-related symptoms or allergy numbers for peanut butter or for peanut. So he is also very high with peanut butter, all of the nuts, no walnuts, no macadamia. No, he can, he can never have a nut. Um, and then also he showed uh, a very high allergy uh, reaction with his numbers to soy. So he can't have soy milk. He can't have anything with soy, soy in it. Um, so today I went and picked up his EpiPens. 
and I don't know if you guys have heard of this one or not, but um, it comes in two, two EpiPens and keep one at the house and one wherever we go. And um, so I was shocked to see how high his numbers were um, when he told me over the phone how high his numbers were. And um, I'm just glad that he, when, when I took him to have the blood work done, that he, didn't ha he doesn't have to go back and have the patch test. He might have to have it when he's older, just to see if he's grown out of it. But there's only like a 20% chance of kids ever who have a peanut allergy growing out of it, which means that 20%, it's one in five children. One out of every five children will grow out of it. Um, but every time he accidentally ingests any of those things, the soy, the peanut, any of the nuts, um, he, the reaction will be different. It could be milder or it could be deadly or it could be in between. So let me know if you guys know anybody or if you are allergic to, to anything and you have to take an EpiPen. Um, I know the doctor told me that I had to, uh, every time I give him the EpiPen or when I have to, I have to call 911. And I'm guessing it's because of the epinephrine, you know, to check on his heart rate. Um, because see, if someone's not allergic to something and, so, and they're injected with epinephrine, then um, they can die from having epinephrine injected in them. So let me know if you guys have ever had this experience or if you know anybody who's had this, please let me know. I'd like, I really like to be informed with all of this. It was kind of just a quick, quick, you know, demonstration by the pharmacist and, you know, and there's instructions on the box, but I just really want to know if anyone with their, what their experiences have been like. Um, and I really appreciate you guys and I love you all. And I'm still going to try and get into those lives and everything. So I love you all. Okay, bye-bye.